What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and we just got back from our very first pre-release, first ever live event that I've been to uh, in my since I've become, or since I don't know, probably from in the last 15 years or so. And it was a lot of fun. At first, I wasn't sure how it's gonna play out. There weren't that many people there, but then like from the time it was supposed to start to like an hour later when things finally got going. There was a bunch of people, so I had a lot of fun. We actually entered two of them. That's why it took me a while to get back. <clears throat> so we did two pre-release pre tournaments. Uh, they gave us a little random sticker. So we're going to be going over a lot of stuff. We're going to go through what kind of cards we got from our pre-release packs. And then we're going to go through some trades. We did a bunch of trades. Um, Hidden Fates is very popular <laughs> at the at the local event so we did a bunch of trades there and we actually opened some packs so for each pre-release we got three additional cosmic eclipse packs and a random dollar general pack of unified minds so we're gonna get into those as well so where should we start all right we're gonna start with the pre-release cards that we managed to pick up so both of my decks actually had the dust skull lineup dust skull dust clops dust noir this card's actually really cool it's so because, because there's a way to evolve them, and you could do this turn one too, to get them into Dusk Lops, which isn't bad. Uh, you know, for you do have to discard three cards, but then you have this card, which does have a pretty cool ability, Disable, which you can lock down and attack. But with all the switching that goes on, it's not that relevant. But if you can get to Dust Noir, it does have a built in spell tag ability, and then Psych Up, which is not bad. We, we kind of mentioned this in the cards that we thought were going to be very relevant relevant in Cosmic Eclipse. Psych up for 160 damage. If you use Psych up again next turn, it does 120. So pretty strong card, especially for a pre-release. And then our Hollows were the Entei, but I was really excited to get this one in the second pre-release tournament. Once in your turn, if this Pokemon is on your bench, you may have your opponent switch to active Pokemon and then basically discard this card all times attached to it. Essentially, it's basically a custom catcher, two custom catchers built into a Pokemon that you just drop on your bench and then you you get rid of you discard it whenever you want to switch your opponents active so I was very excited to get that uh, from our packs for our not big hits we didn't get anything too crazy or no actually these are just the the extra cards I don't think anything we need to get the Jolteon which is pretty cool for those evolution power-ups I don't think we got two of them they're going to be super strong but I think it's a very interesting mechanic for our GX hits our first Second pre-release box, we got completely struck out, but our first one, we was absolute fire. We got three tag teams and then a alternate art for the tag teams. Let me just see. We had actually I did trade some, so we did get the babies, uh, Togepi, Cleffa, and Igglybuff. I don't think this card's that good, but uh, I was happy to pick it up. We did get the ah um, Naganadol Guzzlord. This card's really good, or it was pretty useful in the limited tournament and I just like that chaotic order I feel like that's a sure fire way, fire way to close any game and we did pull a Venusaur Snivy but we did trade that away for Oricorio I'm pretty happy with that trade I think this one is going to be really useful you just kind of just have one on your bench and then once in your turn whenever they knock out your your Pokemon that next turn you can draw three cards and you can kind of pick when you choose it to, so it's kind of relevant for the various trainers and then the alternate art one we did get a Pip Piplup. I'm actually super happy about this. This was one of the, I think as far as alternate arts, this might be my favorite one um, that aren't the tag team ones. And then I think after that would probably be Red and Pikachu. And then we did some trades. So let's go through. I traded a bunch of Hidden Fate stuff. Um, I don't remember all the cards we traded, but I basically put everything in a binder. So sorry, it might affect the Hidden Fates dupes giveaways going forward, but we're going to still open Hidden Fates. But we did pick up a Full Art Zero Aura. That still that ability is super useful. Professor Elm's Lecture. I feel like this card is really good in those really annoying Pidgeotto control decks. And then last one. Oh man, very happy to pick this up. Great catcher. Discard two cards, switch your opponent's Pokemon. Um, if your opponent's bench Pokemon EX or GX to their active. So it only works on EX or GX, but still really good. And then our biggest trade, we got another shiny Charizard, but it's not the English one. We picked up a PSA 10 Japanese Charizard. It's come down quite a bit in value after the English release, which helped us pick up this card. So we you know, a lot of nice people there, and it was fun to kind of like uh, figure out trades and stuff like that. So those were our trades, and those were our pulls. 
So now let's get into, we have three packs of hidden or cosmic eclipse followed by one unified minds random uh, dollar pack. So let's just quickly go through this one. A lot of people, I've seen a lot of people pull stuff on these, but I feel like that's kind of like through volume <laughs> or weighing. And obviously we didn't do any of that. So let's see, we got a Murko, some eggs, an energy, that's kind of disappointing. And there's not even a code here. All right, so nothing there. But let's get three more. So out of eight packs that we opened from the pre-release kits, we did get four hits. So pretty good ratio for the day. Let's wrap up, see if we can't. Let's get at least one good card from these three packs. Remember these codes, I, you can't actually do anything. You can, I think you can put them in, but you can't actually do anything with them, I think until the start of the month or Halloween or something like that. Really excited for this set and all of it's going to, everything it's going to do to the competitive scene. Alright, let's see, you got Togemar. Ah, new cards. This is awesome. Absol, Rollet. I like that art. That's really funny. Skrulp. Pikachu. That's a solid Pikachu art right there. Teddy Ursa. Nose Pass. Guzzlore. Let's see what we got. Discard the top card of your opponent's deck and then... Red Banquet, 120 of your opponent's Pokemon is knocked out by this. Take one prize card. Guzzlord's always taking extra prizes. Ah, another a reverse Duskull. I feel like the, the fact that you can just do this, so you can do this on turn one, its ability, kind of like puts this card on the radar and kind of helps the Dust Noir if it's going to be <clears throat> relevant. The fact that you discard three cards could be helpful in Malamar, but the um, Dust Noir is actually super energy efficient you only need one so maybe that part's kind of awkward but still a very good card oh wait actually this is no longer hidden fates we don't need to swap those last around we will do the rare last we got unidentified fossil no one was really rocking fossils in their net during the pre-release hakamo'o which your opponent's pokemon is ex or gx this pokemon can evolve during the turn you play it interesting so you can go right to the full final evolution herdier cricketot apom woobat Ducklet, that's her. I don't know, for some reason that art makes me laugh. Swirlex, I am not familiar with you. Cotton Guard, 10. During your opponent's next turn, the Pokemon takes 10. Empoleon. Recall is messing me up during the, uh, during the pre-release. And, oh, we got another one. Got the Naga Natal Guzzlords. All right, so we did get our hit for this opening. When you're only opening three packs, getting anything is a, we'll just make sure we get a hit. But Violent Appetite, once on your turn, you may discard a Pokemon card from your hand, heal 60. Maybe that'll be helpful, I feel like that's not nothing too crazy, but then Jet Pierce for 180 for 3 energy, and then Chaotic Order. Let's just say you have the same energy cost as Jet Pierce, and then you take two prize cards. You also flip over all your prize cards, which is, could be useful. Alright, on to our last pack. I will say I very, had a very positive experience my first ever live events. I will consider going to future ones. I didn't record anything. Actually, I didn't even talk about being a YouTuber at all. I think I only mentioned to one individual. But if we do end up going to leagues, maybe we'll eventually get comfortable enough with the people around there that we'll start doing recordings there as well. Ooh, tag call. Super useful card. Search your deck for up to two tag teams. Put them in your hand. Anytime you play one card, get two. In your hand is a win in my book. I'm putting that to the side. Delmize, what is this? Put a trainer and discard pile into your hand. Hmm, that's not bad. Buster Swing, um, that's no good. Chaotic Swell, whenever you play a stadium card from their hand, discard that stadium card after. Whoa, so this thing basically locks the stadium slot. Very interesting. For anyone that's struggling to, because they your opponent keeps putting Mewtwo on the board, or Power Plant, maybe that's a good answer. All right, Sunkern, Cosmog. Psyduck. Oh, that's a pretty good heart, Psyduck. Trapinch. Oddish. A Whale Lord is our rare. Heavy impact for water, two colors, and then Hydro Splash. Very vanilla card. And then Ends Resolve. Oh, someone pulled the alternate art. Was it Zekrom in Resh Reshiram Zekrom? Alternate art, too. It looked amazing. This card the six, top six cards in your deck. If any of them are basic energies, attach them to your bench. That's a pretty, pretty good effect. So that's it for our pre-release. Um, yeah, had a blast, and 
definitely will look to go to more events in the future. I'm not sure if it's going to be just pre-releases or try to tend the leagues. I'll have to see if I can create a IRL deck. It took me a while to get some in for our PTZGO. But uh, that's it for today, guys. Oh, one last thing. But wait, there's more! Our last is announcement that over the next couple of days we'll be doing some more Cosmic Eclipse openings. I have a couple more packs from attending the second pre-release. And then we actually managed to pick up a bunch of these build B and B build in battle boxes. So look forward to more Cosmic Eclipse in the coming days. And that's it. Now we're done. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.